Hello everyone. I am Annie from Smart Herd. In this video series, we are learning about Android Material Design Animation. In the last video, we had learnt about the enter and exit transition using the explode transition. In this video, we will be learning about the slide transition. Let us move to Android Studio and start implementing it without taking further time. But before that, what slide transition is? Slide transition moves the view in or out from the screen from one of the edges of the scene. On the left side of the screen, you can see the demo which we will be creating for the slide transition. On clicking the Java code slide transition button, we can see the activity changes and how the transition takes place. On clicking the back button, it executes the reverse transition and moves back. This way we can set the edge of the scene from which the transition may occur. From the left, right, bottom, top, anything you want. Now let's move to Android Studio and write codes for slide transition. In my main activity.java, I have copied and pasted this code of explore transition by XML or explore transition by code, anything you want, and pasted it here in slide transition by code. The only difference here is the slide Java for the constant key animation type and for the toolbar title, I have set the title as slide by Java code. Rest everything is same for main activity.java. In the main activity.xml, on clicking this button, the slide transition by code is executed, which is in our main activity, the one which we have written here. Now moving to transition activity.java, let us write the code for slide Java. For the slide transition, we have a separate class of slide. So let us create the object for the slide class. And then for this object, let us define the edge from which the transition will occur. Let us set its gravity to bottom as of now. And for the duration, let us get it from the constant which we had defined. Let us say it very long, which defines the 1000 millisecond. Then let us put this transition into the window as enter transition and then break. At this point of time, now let us run our application and see how the slide transition occurs. On clicking this slide transition execution by Java code, we can see the activity slides into the other activity from the bottom of the screen. This gravity I have defined as bottom and our slide transition is without any interpolator. On clicking this back button, Okay, so we had defined this finish method here in our previous video. Let us change it to finish after transition. And now let us change this gravity to top and set the interpolator here using the Java code. In the previous video for the explode transition, we had set the interpolator using the XML file. Now let's see how to set the interpolator in the Java code. Let's say the interpolator be fast out linear interpolator. Now let us run our application and see these three changes that we have made in our application. So here is our application up and running. On clicking this button, we can see the slide transition coming from the top of the screen. This fast out linear in interpolator is executed. Now let us change this interpolator and see the effect. Let us change it to anticipate overshoot. On running our application, what happens now? We can clearly see here. Now on clicking this Java code, the change which the interpolator has caused. This is the anticipate overshoot interpolator which executes 
for the slide transition and comes from the top of the screen. Now let us implement the slide transition using the XML code. For executing the slide transition using the XML code, I have defined here slides.xml. I have defined it in the same way that we had done for explode.xml. The only thing added here is slide edge because the slide transition occurs from the edge of the screen. Besides this, there are several other attributes that we can set for slide transition. They are the match order, start delay and the interpolator. Like we had set the interpolator for the explode.xml, we can do the same for the slide transition as well. You can try these three attributes yourself and see the changes that takes place in your application. Now let us move to mainactivity.java. I have simply copy pasted this code here and changed this transition type to slide XML and changed the toolbar title to slides by XML. In the transition activity.java, let us copy this code from explode XML and paste it here for the case of slide XML. Here the transition type will be slide.xml. So let us change it to slide and the rest everything will be same. Now let us check our application. What difference has it made? Here is our application up and running. On clicking the XML button of the slide transition, we can see the activity slides into the screen from the right hand side of the screen. In the slides.xml, we have set the edge to right. We can set it to bottom, left, right, start, top, end, anything you want. This way, we can set the slide edge and make the change in our slide transition. On clicking the back button, we can see the reverse transition taking place. So this was the implementation of the slide transition in our Android application. In the next video, we will be learning about the fade transition implementation in our application. Till then, thanks for watching, stay tuned and have a good day.